Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 7 and in this video we're going to style the footer. <laughs> Alright, so look at this gang. We've almost done the HTML and CSS for this page right here. The only thing left is this footer right at the bottom. That's only going to take a few minutes, so let's get cracking. If we take a quick look at the PSD, we see the footer background is this colour. I'm just going to press tab or shift rather to uh, grab this colour picker, find that colour right there and copy it and I'm going to colour the footer that colour. So let's grab that footer and give it a background of that colour we just grabbed like that. Now you're going to notice something here guys, the footer stretches right up to the top of these elements right here and again this is because we've not cleared those floats because each of these ally tags are floated to the left. That means that the parent element, this UL tag right up here, let's find it, where is it? Uh, this one here, this has collapsed, okay? So what we need to do is grab that and then do the clay fix which we've been doing on previous elements. So I'll grab the featured UL, then I'll do an after pseudo class to insert some content which is just going to be an empty string and then we want it to display as block and then we want it to clear both and now we're going to get that footer down below because all these are cleared now all right so we've done that little trick there to clear the floats within that element now we can apply some margin to this we'll do a margin top of about 100 pixels something like that that will do and we'll also give it some padding at the top um, it will say about 30 pixels to the top and bottom, then zero left and right. Awesome, so now what we wanna do is grab these ULs right here and float them to the left, right? Because they're all stacked from left to right going across. So let's grab those footer ULs and float them to the left like that. Now again, you can see this has collapsed, this flutter, uh, this footer because all of these elements within it are floated and we've not cleared them. So let's again grab the footer and do this little clear fix by saying after to inject some empty, com uh, empty content. Can't even say that guys, empty content after or rather at the end of the footer. So we'll say content empty display block and then clear both. All right, so now we've done that. Let's come back down to these. We're gonna say padding zero. Um, we're gonna get rid of those little circles, list style type none, and then we're gonna change the color of all of these li tags or li tags within the ULs to something like EEE, -E -E, like that, perfect. We also need to give them a width. We'll say 23%. That means that they can have a margin right of 2% like that, just to spread them out a little bit, perfect. All right, so let's move on now to the li tags. We'll say footer, li, and the first thing I wanna do is just give them a little bit of margin. So 10 pixels, top and bottom, and then to the left and right, zero. And in fact, that's the only thing we need to do with the li tags. Final thing we need to do is just style up these links right here because they're all horrible and purple and you can hardly see them at the minute. So let's say footer A and style those babies up by saying color EEE -E -E, and then text decoration none, none whatsoever. I'm just gonna get rid of that line underneath them. All right, so let's save those now and let's have a look at this thing in the full browser. Looking pretty sweet guys, we've got everything sorted now pretty much in the HTML and the CSS for this basic homepage. So now what we're gonna do is start applying this to WordPress, making our very own theme. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is install a server on our local computer. So what I'm gonna do is go through all that first in the very next tutorial. I have been going quite fast so far through this series and that's because I just wanted to get to a point pretty quickly where we've got some HTML and CSS to work with. I mean, this isn't a HTML course or anything like that. You should already know about HTML and CSS, so maybe if you're struggling keeping up at this point, you might wanna check out my CSS for beginners or HTML for beginners or even my PSD to HTML series. I'll leave the links to all of those down below. But what I will do from now on, because we're getting into new territory, 
um, when we start diving into the WordPress stuff, I am going to start going a little bit slower. All right, so we, everyone can keep up. Um, again, if you have any comments, questions or anything like that, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. And I'll see you in the very next video where we're going to set up a server on our very own Windows machine. I'll see you guys then.